Just a few miles north of the bright lights of Las Vegas, the city of North Las Vegas is home to 227,000 people. Prior to 2011, North Las Vegas sent its wastewater to Las Vegas for treatment. But a 2003 study determined that the city would benefit from treating its own wastewater. So design and construction of a state-of-the-art MBR facility began in 2008 and came online in June 2011. It's a 25 million gallon a day, average daily flow, monthly flow plant with, uh, can handle peaks of 32 million gallons a day weekly with hourly flows of 50 million gallons a day. The membranes, they have um, 48 membrane modules per cassette and we have 144 cassettes in the plant for a grand total of about 1.5 million square feet of membrane capacity. The membranes themselves cost about 15 million dollars. So we want the, we want these membranes to last as long as, as, they, as they can. We want to get the longevity out of the membranes and by doing that we need to protect them and we need to protect them with the, the screening process. The cleaner they are, the, the longer the life expectancy is of the membranes. What we've calculated basically for every year that we can extend the life of the membranes, it's, it's worth in excess of five million dollars for us. What we have installed here at the North Las Vegas plant here is a Rotomat RPPS 2600 fine screen, two millimeter screen at the time that was put in was one of the largest in North America. The fine screens are here to, to screen out anything that might get into the bioreactor that could possibly be introduced into the membranes. There's lint and there's hair and if it passes through the fine screens and it gets to the membranes, the construction of the membranes, it'll start wrapping around it and kind of choking it off. It, you eventually could have so many of the, of the membrane strands fail that it would cause the entire module to fail. And then we would have to replace that entire module, which is about $5,000. So we are very dependent on the fine screen taking place. And with Huber Fine Screens, it, it's been doing an excellent, excellent job for us. The RPPS screen uses a center feed drum type design, which basically is a cup turned on its side. The water flows into the cup, there's no place for the screenings to go, and, it, and then we put a perforated plate, two millimeter plate around that, and anything larger than two millimeter is entrapped in that. It does not allow for an overflow of raw wastewater to bypass the screen. That is one of the major problems with with fine screening is that if, if you have a high flow or a stoppage or something, it can bypass around the screens and then why have the screens in the first place? The seal of the drum is a very simple configuration and it's basically unbolt it and bolt the new seal in place. What is critical and you, seems to be unique to the design and usually the function of the people that invented it understand its principle is that the way the seal is, it is designed to give proper seal to the inside of the drum so the pressure of the water as it rises actually enhances the seal of the drum. The seal is, is actually making a seal between the rotating basket and the fixed frame that's mounted down in the channel. And as that basket rotates, it needs to have a seal to prevent any screening from passing through the separation between the seal or the basket and the frame. Basically, it's a very simple design, but it, in its simplicity, gives the kind of dependability and the reliability that wastewater treatment plant operators need. We have a very small maintenance staff at this time, and that is to our advantage not to be too maintenance extensive. We have thousands of pieces of equipment at this facility that we have to maintain. You don't want to expend your, your whole workforce spending all of their time working on just the screens. The weekly maintenance that's required, we just basically were looking at opening the system up, taking a quick peek at it, and then we're done. That's it. It allows us to continue maintenance on all other aspects of the plant. We don't really have to, to uh, 
be, to worry about the screen. Huber, when we build our equipment, there's several aspects that we look at. One is the durability of the technology, simplicity of the technology, also with the kind of energy requirements that we're encountering on a regular basis. We're looking at the kind of uh, energy that's consumed and not necessarily in just uh, lower energy but how the equipment is used. So in the case of the RPPS we would have a machine that's designed to operate to monitor the flow of, of the plant and only come on as it's required. So they don't have to run all the time so that saves us some money but not only does it save money, it saves wear and tear on the equipment because they're not running all the time. The technology used here at North Las Vegas represents what I think is, is the best of Huber, the innovation and the quality and the thoughtfulness that we bring to the market. We found Huber to be uh, very cooperative. They've always been responsive to our needs uh, when we've called them to get uh, spare parts and get assistance. The customer support and the technical support, it's exceptional. We just really get a lot of help from them. The RPPS in general, I would have to say, is my favorite piece of technology because its simplicity, uh, because of its robust design, it is a very uh, flexible platform for as technology changes. In general, I think it represents the innovation and quality of how we put our equipment together, our technology together.